Welcome to our fourth and final lesson of the Code for Kids Robotics course. Don't forget there's a robotics project to do with your learners after this course if you wish to do so. In this lesson, we teach learners how to create different shapes and pictures using degrees. Kip loves geometry. Instead of Kip turning to face north, south, east or west, we will give him a specific amount of degrees he must turn. The variable for turn will now be a number to represent degrees. You can explain to your learners how Kip rotates anti-clockwise the allocated amount of degrees. In the example on the right hand side, you can see that Kip has moved forward. He has turned 90 and made a right angle. You can also use the example of using a protractor to show how Kip moves forward. He can then turn anti-clockwise 180 degrees and he would move back to create a straight line. You can go and talk about all the different types of angles you get, acute, obtuse, reflex, etc. by moving in the different angles. We'll get more to that a bit later on. So let's help Kip to create different shapes and pictures using degrees. Task 0 says, change the number of degrees Kip is turning. This is a little bit of an experimental phase for your learners to see what happens. So we're going to run and it runs the code kip line on, kip move to, kip change color to blue and then kip is going to turn 90 degrees and he's going to two, move two more and he has now created that little right angle or square corner. So in line 19 we're just going to go and change the variable to the suggested numbers over there, 180 for example, let's see what happens. He's going to run, he's going to turn 180 and then he's going to come back on himself. So that is how you could make him go backwards. Then we can go, we've already done example of 90, we can go and do 45 degrees. And here you can talk about the angles that the, he has created. Again, we're going to change the variable. And there he's created an acute angle. So depending on the level of your learners, you can then discuss all these different angles that he can create. You can also go and see what happens when he moves 360. Press run. You can even get your learners to anticipate what's going to happen. He moves 360, which means he's done a full rotation and moved forward again, again creating a straight line. Task 1. Here we're going to draw the eight main compass points again. We've done this in previous lessons. This time we are not using north, south, east or west but moving in degrees. And we are going to run to see what happens. In the first instance, Kip is creating these green lines which is going to be our main cardinal points. He's already created east and south. And then once he gets, once he's completed west and north, then he's going to go and do the sub-cardinal points. So we're going to go and write our code over here. When he is finished creating this point to the south, he will be facing north because he comes back on himself. We will then get him to turn 90. Kip turn 180, kip move 3, and we can go and check if he's created that cardinal point to the west. Yes, he has. So, logically, to go and do the south point, or the north point, we copy those kinds of lines of code, and we press run, and we've completed the cardinal points. Once Kip has pointed south, he then only moves 45, as you can see in the code that's already provided. He only moves to 45 to create that southeast point. All we need to carry on with is creating the other subcardinal points only by turning him in a 90 degree. The learners can copy and paste all the last few lines of code, run, and all the subcardinal points have been created. Task 2. Task 2 has two different sections to it, 2.1. It says help Kip to finish his cube. On the left hand side we already see there's lots of different lines of code 
and let's run and see what happens. Here you can discuss the characteristics of a cube, such as faces, edges, and a vertex. And at the moment we can see that the two edges are missing. Use the back right hand vertex of the cube to help you to work out what degree Kip will turn in order to go back up this front face of the cube to go and create that edge over there. We know that angles will be 45 plus 180, making it a turn of 225 to go up the edge and then moving four spaces. So we're going to write the code below. Kip, turn 225, Kip, move four. He is now at the top of that vertex. Then we know that because he turns anti-clockwise, he's going to turn all the way around minus the 45 degrees he'll need to go to reach that vertex over there. So we can write kip turn 360 minus 45. Or the learners can work out what that is. Kip's going to move 2. Then Kip is going to turn all the way to carry on along that top edge and then back down here. The learners can do it in any way they like. So we're going to get Kip to turn not only 45 but also 90 and move 4 along. Then Kip is going to move 45 and another 2. and all those edges have been created. In task 2.2, it says, can you make your cube bigger? Let your learners problem solving this, and it would simply be by adding one or two spaces to your move function. We continue on to explain equilateral triangles. In geometry, an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides are equal. An equilateral triangle is e also equiangular. That is, all three internal angles are also congruent to each other and are 60 degrees. Each exterior angle is 120, which makes the internal angle 60. 180 minus 120 equals 60. Kip rotates anti-clockwise and creates those external angles for the triangle. In task 3.1, we're going to complete the blue equilateral triangle with four units of length. We can press run and see what's happened already. We've created a green triangle equilateral. Now we need to only complete the blue one. So we're going to get Kip to move four. And then we want Kip to be ready to create his next triangle by turning that external angle of 120 so that he can make the internal angle of 60. Now we go on to make the red triangle, this time with two units of length. But we're going to be moving Kip forward by one space. Then we'll need Kip to go and change his color. Then we will get Kip to move to. Green triangle, blue triangle, and the red triangle. Now for the challenge. Challenge one. Complete the house that Kip has started drawing. Add windows and a door to the house. Let's click run and see what happens. Kip is already facing up when he moves up the green line. So he then needs to turn 315 degrees to start making the roof of the house. Making the top of the house is a right angle, but he has to move 270 degrees to create the angle going to the right. Don't forget, so if he wants to turn left, he will go 90, but if he wants to turn right, he will go 270. For Kip to move down, he will turn anti-clockwise minus the 45 degrees that he is facing so that he can go straight down.
and your learners can continue until they have completed their house. And here is how your learners can continue to create their house. They can use all the functions that they know already, change color, line on or off, move and turn. And challenge two, does using the different directions and pen colors get Kip to draw any picture you choose? This is so exciting for the learners to really extend all that they know about robotics. Remember to share some of your feedback with Code for Kids team. We always love hearing about your experiences.